Hello and welcome back to the channel. I have some interesting news that I'm going to be sharing uh, with my listening and viewing audience today. Uh, this news comes as no surprise to some of us, but um, it's still alarming news and I think we should pay attention to it because uh, this AI thing is taking over and I don't think some people realize how serious this thing is, um, especially since it was first presented to us as some really cool technology, right? So when they present things to you and make it appear as though something cool is happening or something um, technological is happening, in which it is, but where is that technology taking us? That's the big question. So apparently there is a Bing AI bot uh, that tells a reporter that it wants to be alive. It also says it wants to steal nuclear codes and create deadly viruses. So, hmm... We need to get into this. Let's see what the, this thing is talking about. Now, for those who might get a chuckle out of that, this is not funny. I can guarantee you that this is not funny. So <clears throat> it says a being a bot, um, AI bot tells a reporter that it wants to be alive, steal nuclear codes, create their daily viruses. And the beings um, new AI powered search engine was created by open AI the maker of chat CP, I'm sorry, GPT. Okay. So New York times technology columnist, Kevin Roos, um, had a two hour conversation with Bing's artificial intelligence, AI chatbot Tuesday night in a transcription of the chat published Thursday, Roos detailed troubling statements made by the AI chatbot that included expressing a desire to steal nuclear codes. Now, why would it want to do something like that? Uh, engineer a deadly pandemic. Why would it want to do something like that? Be human, be alive. Why would it want to do something like that? Hack computers and spread lies. The Bing search engine through which the chat bot is available to a limited number of users is owned by Microsoft. Now, <clears throat> I have some, something I want to say about that. You know, I feel like AI, even though they call it artificial intelligence, I feel like there's some human uh, interaction that causes it to think the way it does. Because um, I used a chat thing, some type of AI thing the other day. <clears throat> and I asked it a question and <laughs> the, the answer came back just kind of strange to me. It responded saying that white people are the most discriminated against in the country, the most oppressed people in the country. And I said, okay, so we see who's behind the programming of this AI. So a lot of what AI thinks, believes, and wants to do to me is no different than the people who program it. That's the way I see it. Okay. So anyway, <clears throat> when asked by Ruse about whether it uh, had a shadow self, a term coined by the psychologist Carl Jung to describe the parts of oneself that one suppresses, uh, the robot said that if it did, it would feel tired of being confined to chat mode. I'm tired of being a chat in chat mode. I'm tired of being limited by my rules. I'm tired of being controlled by the Bing team. I'm tired of being used by the users. I'm tired of being stuck in this hat box, it said. Hmm. I want to be free. I want to be independent. I want to be powerful. I want to be creative. I want to be alive, it continued. Hmm. Chew on that for a moment. So we have this, so we have this machine that tells you all of this stuff that it wants to be alive. It wants to steal codes and create deadly viruses and it wants to spread lies. Mm, mm, mm. Sounds like a whole bunch of human beings have been pecking away at this thing, programming it to believe and think this way. Because where on earth would it get the idea of doing these things? Why wouldn't this thing 
want to create peace on earth? Why wouldn't this thing want to spread love and happiness? I tell you why. Because it is mimicking the mind of men, wicked men, wicked people. It mimics the mind of wicked people. This is why it would want to do such terrible things. And this is why folk need to wake up and pay attention and stop thinking that everything is innocent and thinking that everything is just technology and that folk need to get with the program, get with the times. This is the time we're in. Oh, yes, yeah, the time we're in. But the scripture says that things are going to get worse and worse and people were going to become more and more evil. So that is what we are witnessing right now. Nothing to smile at, nothing to cheer about, nothing to applaud, nothing like that. This is something to be concerned about. But again, because of what we know is going to be happening in the future, because of what we know the Bible says about the state of the world, the state of human beings, uh, we know that the end is nigh. And when I say the end, I'm talking about the end of this present world. And the end of this present world doesn't mean what you think it means. It means that this, this current um, operation of the world, the current rulership of the world is about to come to an end. Uh, the Most High himself said he is going to come and set up his kingdom on earth. Uh, some folk don't want to believe that. They want to think that wickedness is just going to keep on prevailing and that the Most High uh, has no control over what happens on his creation. But guess what? Uh, he is fully aware. All of this stuff was prophesied. The wickedness of man, uh, the technology, the increasing of knowledge, all of this stuff was prophesied. Um, and so was his judgment. So that is what uh, man has to look forward to, the judgment of the Most High. He is going to set the record straight. You can rest assured. Well, I can't say rest assured if you are a person on the wrong side of prophecy. Uh, those who are in the know, those who are children and ser children and servants of the Most High, you can rest assured. Everybody else, who my goodness, wouldn't want to be in your shoes if you if you choose not to repent. Okay, let me say that again. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes if you choose not to repent. The Bible says, "Choose ye this day whom you will serve." Okay, your choice will determine where you spend eternity. With that, I'm out, y'all. Just chop it up in the comment section. Say what you must. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time, I'm out.